Okay, a lot of open space up here. It's a room. Oh, we got a sand. We can spell... Okay, I was actually kind of hoping it would be a white sand. That would have been the most useful one at this point. Leo Lam will not decrease for a while. Um, well, might as well use the blue sand. And actually, might as well use the Leo Lam. Oops, shit. Every turn counts. Can't afford to be making these kinds of mistakes. If I just keep if I just keep repeating that phrase to myself, I will I will just stop making those kinds of mistakes. That's how it works. <laughs> uh, which way? Okay, monsters. Or actually, it looks. Are they coming this way? Oh god, there's coming. This, there's the maximum. I'm tempted. Okay, let's rotate the camera. Can we get a good look at them? There's a slightly different look at them. Okay, looks like the coast is clear on this side. And like I said, every turn counts. It's gotta be making as much distance away from these guys, and we've come full circle. Okay, that's fine. Actually, we can, if we can follow a monster on its patrol path, we should be pretty good. Where's the damn exit? Okay, it could be in here. Oh, Christ. Uh, oh, we're being followed. Ah, uh, rock in a hard place. Okay, this guy will die, and actually we're going to use the less used blaze ball because this is almost an emergency. So we'll go for the sure thing, exit in here. No. But, like I said, the coast is clear for that. It's got to be this room. No, it really doesn't actually. There's a lot of floor after this. Shit. There it is. Shit. Oh, okay. The question is, do we want it? Do we just end it now while we can? And then, you know, we, we can still do the tower. Ah. You know what? We can still have an LP after this. Still girls to romance. Still buildings to build. Stuff to show off. It would have been nice to have the big climactic finish, like, right at the end of the LP. So it's like we get, you know, we do all the town stuff, and then have that big climactic run where you beat the tower and finish that part of the game, but... Yeah, that would be really nice if we could do that. Did I use the healing herb? What happened to my healing herb? Where did it go? Oh my fucking god, when did I do that? When? Why? Fuck me. Ugh. I literally can't remember. Does it just do the same thing as a medicinal herb? It must have been that time when I gave him the uh, HP upgrade. I... wow. When? Did it pick it? No. How? When? Ah, shit. Okay, so yeah, now we literally haven't finished anything, haven't, haven't finished everything in the tower yet, so our, our big climactic run will be when we get back to floor 28 for like the fifth time, and for really, really reals next time, do not use the fucking <laughs> healing herb that's meant for Cheryl. When? No, I didn't, did I? Shit. Oh well. Here's Beldo. At least it freed up the inventory slot for that egg that you can see back there that we're gonna get. And what is Kuhn doing here? I did not bring you here, Kuhn. If you could have just teleported up to the 40th floor this whole time, this would have been, like, so much easier for me. You trained me? Oh, hey, Jasu. I guess Jasu's talked before without my picking a dialogue option. Treachery! Wow. Totally didn't expect this the first time I played this game. Although it didn't really have much of an impact, I don't know. I actually kind of forget. Does he actually have any relevant bit of story here? I think I really think like the whole story that he's gonna give us is that yeah, I met your dad and we adventured a bit, and then I fucking killed him. And I think that's basically the whole story that he tells. We get a nice little flashback here with some artwork. I really love the art style of this game. Or I mean, I don't really love it. It's really nice. It's a very it's really good art. Really good art for this game. If you look at like some of the extra promotional materials, like the the Japanese manual has some like really nice character artwork and pictures and stuff on it. The soundtrack, cover of the soundtrack looks really nice. 
I completely forgot. Yeah, we get a nice little picture slideshow. I don't know why I'm not advancing this text faster. And the only monster team who can fuse with monsters. That would be really cool. If they ever made like a like a a sequel to Azure Dreams. Oh, I'm just saying it makes me sad. Fuck Konami. God damn you, Konami. Ugh. Did I mention this in this? I'm pretty sure I talked about the shit show Konami's putting on these moments. I've even... Oh my god, Azure Dreams, Pachinko. You know, you'd better... F honestly, I, honestly, at this point, I'd, I'd take it. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Why am I talking about this shit at this time of all times? Ha! Eat it, Beldo. Okay, and then, yeah, th and this is the bit that we saw at the start of the game. Little lights shooting out of the tower, which is apparently Beldo lasering our dad. That's the magic words that he uses to laser something. Wow! Ha ha ha. What is... Wow, what a badass. He's, like, laughing it off. It's like... <laughs> being, like, shot at by, like, disintegrating lasers and shit. Ha ha ha. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be him breathing heavily, but... Still, I like, I prefer my interpretation, where he's just laughing at him. Abracadabra. And <laughs> see, guy has, guy has better magic words in Bildo, too. <laughs> oh, and there is that thing. Okay. So they just explained what all the little symbols meant. Oh, come on, you were able to dodge them before. What's your deal now? Gah. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll rectify that in a moment. Oh, anyways, I was gonna say if there were a sequel to Azure Dreams, like being able to like fuse monsters to your character, or like doing something extra, so much extra stuff they could do with a sequel to this game. Oh, just oh, I want it so bad. I would even be satisfied with a fucking pachinko machine. Just like you know, cute pictures of the girls and stuff. Romance them as like objectives and st like I, I I can picture it. I'd play it if I like lived near pachinko parlor. I mean, I wouldn't spend a ton of money on it, but, you know, I'd try it. I mean, really, like, we're never gonna get another Azure Dreams slash Castlevania slash Silent Hill anyways. There's no need to be angry that they're putting out, you know, pachinko machines. It's not like the pachinko machines are causing all of, like, these franchises to not exist. They were never gonna... No, new games were not going to be put out for these franchises anyways. The blood is... Oh, right. Oh, he needs my blood to break the seal. I get it. That was his whole thing. Oh, well. Oh, Azure Dreams Pachinko. That seems like such a neat idea now, the more I think about it. <laughs> there, there, there is your freaking... What do they call it? Uh, what was that amazing phrase from the, uh, from the Castlevania one? It was like, erotic, uh, erotic something or other action? I don't remember. I don't know. Something, something like that. Erotic monster hunting action or whatever would be a great tagline for Azure Dreams Pachinko. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm curious. Is this guy as stupid as, like, a beast? Will he... Actually, do I have my monster? I do have my monster. So we're, we're gonna see if he'll beat on... Oh, he's got he's got two attacks to my one. Oh, shit. Or maybe if I grab that egg and then... I'm, I, I just like... This is an unwinnable fight. It's just every... It's kind of an anti-climax. It's like... See, you'd think it's like a big epic final boss fight, but really you can't win this. He just beats the shit out of you and then something will happen, but I don't know. I, I don't like that they did it the ending this way, so I just like to pretend, kind of, although I really don't want to waste my spell charts. Is he susceptible to sleep? That would be kind of interesting. So he's stupid enough to waste his time on ice rock balls. Is he... Okay, he did not fall asleep. Okay, and he's moving two squares at a time. I think I'm fucked. Actually, can I... No, I can't even interact with my familiar. It would be nice if I had him. I should have doubled back towards him. We'll go down one and see. I don't think it's possible to lose this fight. Or maybe it is. I'm 
pretty sure it's not possible to lose this. Oh, we'll use the medicinal herb just in case. And yeah, just like I said, it like heals less damage. In fact, he's got a double hit, so we're dead for sure. Yeah, there's no way they expect you to survive this. And yeah, Kuhn decides to rebel because we were such an awesome master. Yeah, I couldn't remember if you're supposed to like serve, like if, if it's like a Metroid, Super Metroid thing, where it's like it gets you down to below a certain HP threshold and then the cutscene plays out. But it's still technically possible to lose if you actually die. Oh, that's, okay, that's why he was able to cut his arm off so easily, even though he's like a big magic dude. Woo! <laughs> that's that's awesome. Just woo! Or it's I, that's okay. I'd love to do a big long, big loud like woo. I can't I can't do it, but you know, like a a big loud like rocks rock concert woo. But uh, alas, uh, walls are kind of thin here. I actually probably shouldn't even be LPing at this time of night, anyways, because probably. Probably there's some people awake at some point. I've probably woken at least one person up with some of my profanity in some of these runs. Oh, this is a bad camera angle. Oh well. I believe... Ha! <laughs> yep. Oh hey, I didn't die. That's always nice. Okay, so yeah, basically... Oh, this sucks. <laughs> what a shitty camera angle. So, okay, basically the sword shrunk him down to, like, a tiny little size. So he's, like, a tiny little midget man now. Like, a really tiny little midget man. Which is basically what the sword does to people. But it didn't do it to me for some reason. Um, not bad to have a talk again. <laughs> Betrayal can never be forgiven. That's my Diablo. Although, I don't know, Kuhn was never a Templar, so I suppose it's not bad to have a talking one. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's also very cute. <laughs> uh, th yeah, thanks a lot, Kuhn. You were completely... Oh, and I can't even... It doesn't even let me open the menu. Ultimate egg was obtained. La-da-da-da. And that was it. That was uh, That's Azure Dreams. Do we get the credits? I'm pretty sure we get the credits. Oh, right. Oh, no, no, we got all the girls. Do we got all the girls here? We're missing Patty. Where's Patty? We got Cher Cheryl, though. <laughs> yeah, Jarvis inside, because I got there first. What do they say? You guys, like, never make it higher than, like, the fifth floor or whatever. Just like that, yeah. Why is Cheryl here, but not, like, Patty or any of the others? That was the thing, yeah, we need the girls to get, like, the full ending. Shit, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry, you guys. We needed to romance all the girls first so that they would all appear in the ending. Oh, no. Although, I don't know why Cheryl's here, then. Oh, well. I'm pretty sure that's how it worked, though. Oh, no. Oh, well. Whatever. Play the game for yourself. It's totally worth it. And, yeah, you can... Be, sh be sure, and when you do, be sure to romance all the girls before beating the game. And uh, then you'll get the full ending. I'm pretty sure it's just like, they show up in this little scene here, and that's the only thing that changes. Shit, I feel like such an idiot. I knew there was, I knew there was a reason why I wanted uh, to have all, to do all the town stuff before I beat the tower. Oh well. Yay! Yay! Maybe I'll stay forever? I don't know what that means, but... Thank you, everyone. <laughs> you all did absolutely nothing to help. Oh, and she doesn't even get a... portrait. Alright, I guess, yeah, she's a bystander then. She probably would have been with the group, big group hug if she had been a member of the harem. And yeah, that's, uh... Azure Dreams. This is kind of awkward, since, yeah, we've got the credits here, but the LP isn't really over. we still got a little bit of stuff to do around town. So, I mean, do I do my big outro anyways? I mean, maybe to go a bit further, 
into because I think I've talked to death about like what what I think of the game. I love this game. This is one of my one of my favorites of the PS1 era, for sure. I just I really enjoy it and playing it. It's uh, probably probably out of the whole Monster Hunter. I did it again, not Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Mystery Dungeon style games. This is probably my favorite one of those that I've ever played. Or I don't know, Sheer and the Wanderer are pretty close. Whatever. I really like this game. It's one of my one of my favorites. Fantastic, and I wish. And it's it's one of those games where it's like so many kind of. The, the elements, it's greater than the sum of its parts, but yeah, it's like some of the elements are not quite there. Like, the the whole romance aspect could be a bit more fleshed out. The whole monster fusing could be a bit more, a bit less obtuse, and a bit, there could be a bit more involved with that. You could have, like, weapon crafting or, some, or something like that, a bit more involved town building. And a lot of that, I feel, I feel that uh, Dark Cloud 2 is really kind of the spiritual successor to this game, almost. Even though that's kind of an action game. Or it's really only kind of a spiritual successor to the town building aspect. Yeah, there isn't really another game that really... Like, yeah, really, I'd say that... Yeah, in fact, that's... Scratch that. Dark Cloud 2. A lot of similar, similar, similar elements, but I really feel it's the monster training and fusion aspect that is really kind of like the main kind of unique point about this game. And I can't really think of another game... I guess I've never played a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, so I guess that would probably be very similar as well. But I don't know. I can't imagine it. Like, Pokemon is kid stuff. I can't imagine one of those being, like, as good as this. And anyways, what I'm sort of in a roundabout way, ramblingly trying to get around to, is, uh... What I've still gone over before, actually, in the LP. I really, really wish this game got a sequel. There's so many neat ideas that could just be fleshed out a little bit more. A little bit more to all of these... All of those elements, and you would have an amazing game. And if they had just like given it like one more iteration, or if they turned this into like a big long ongoing series, oh, it would be just oh, I'd be... and no spiritual successor either. It's like oh, all these people these days in the indie games community, it's like remaking Super Mario Brothers for like the billionth time in a row. It's like Mario has been done to death. It's like do something. Yeah, do pick out, pick out, out like a little niche game, something like this that just needs a little bit more, just that has so much room for development. It's like Mario's been perfected already. You're not gonna beat Mario. It's like Ghouls and Ghosts is another one that like a lot of people feel they need to clone. And it's like Ghouls and Ghosts is like amazing and close to perfect already. You're not gonna beat Ghouls and Ghosts, although some of them have come close actually. I thought Volgar the Viking wasn't quite there, but it almost made it. Whereas yeah, pick out a niche game, like pick out an Azure Dreams and like. Do something with like that concept and make an indie game around that. It would I don't think it would be hard to improve on this. I mean, okay, it would be hard, but it would be like easier than or, and freaking Metroid. Everybody tries to make all the indie guys trying to do their own little shitty Metroidvania games that are all Metroidvania has been done to death. You're not ever gonna beat Super Metroid, you're not ever gonna beat uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Just I mean, try if you want, but they, they aren't even trying. It's like, oh, that's so inferior. Try on a game that like has so has room for improvement, like this one. There's a lot you could do with the Azure Dreams pro, uh, concept to improve that. I talked a lot about this in my uh, Zardion LP as well. That was another game with a lot of really neat ideas that weren't really quite fre fleshed out as well as they could be. This, is, this would be the perfect game for just like... Like I said, like a, if not a sequel, then a spiritual successor, where so, like somebody just makes something like this with the the monster taming elements and or the town bu like building up your town and or romancing the ladies. You could like any two of those. I think would make a great spiritual successor to Azure Dreams. And I know I'm just ranting. It's like oh, if you want it so much, why don't you make it yourself? I've got I, I I've got one planned out in my mind. I'd really someday maybe. I'm such a lazy bastard. I, I can't, technically I have the skill set, but I'm such a lazy bastard, and I'm not not very sociable either. I, it would be tough for me to get a team together to do like graphics and music and stuff. So I've, I'm not a leader of men. I, I, you'd need a team to do something like this. So I, I couldn't. There's no way I could put something like that together. But I've got an, I've got the idea. I know how I'd do it. I know what I'd want. And I really want someone to do it for me. <laughs> Oh well. Nevertheless, we've still got Azure Dreams. We've still got the original Azure Dreams. It's still it's still really good. Still love playing it. We could have more. 
but it's great that we got what we got. You look cool as always. She, she's also same problem with fur, actually, or as with fur that she got the stupid dorky smile when she falls in love with you. I, I, Selfie, I think, is the only one, the only shit, the only girl <laughs> uh, who gets kind of a cute pose. Um, I believe I can actually collect those and put them in the safe, or are they just there for decoration? Like, these are things that I can actually use. Like, the egg hatches into a particular type of monster. The sword is useful. Although, arguably, it's actually... I'll talk about that shit next time when we actually start using it. I guess that's the thing. Yeah, we couldn't end the LP at this point anyways. We've got to show off the egg we could just got off. got to show off the sword. I guess we could just do that now, and then that could be the end of the LP, but whatever. That's not going to be the end of the LP. Oh, wow, we didn't even have to ask her for the pita fruit this time. Um, but could you save my game, please? Or are they, is there going to be a scene after I walk out the door? I mean, I don't want to leave. I'd like to save my game first, but uh, this is kind of an awkward... There you have it. Oh, that's such a perfect place to end the video. I'm just going to save off camera. <laughs> so yeah, as, as they say, the adventures of Jasu will not end here. We've got more more stuff to build around town. we got to show off the bowling alley, show off the casino. Got to show off all the rest of the romance subplots. Got to go get the fucking floor 28 again. And uh, use up Cheryl's healing herb for the fifth time. <laughs> so we've got all that and more to look forward to. The adventures of Jasu will not end here. But, th but yeah... Yeah, there's, there's more. Thank you so much, however, for following me up this far. And if you don't, you know, if you've had enough at this point, this is a good point to end it. But, uh, yeah. For all the rest of y'all, thanks for watching. And, uh, the adventure will continue.